Keramikos, the place where the ancient potters had their workshops, is surely the most appropriate location for this museum of traditional pottery. Since the year 2000, the Centre for the Study of Traditional Pottery is located in this wonderful neoclassical house on Melidoni Street. Most of the collections on display today were amassed by the museum's founder and benefactor, Betty Psaropoulou, and it now owns more than four and a half thousand ceramic works covering the last three centuries, and they showcase the art and skills of Greek potters. I liked these reconstructions of pottery workshops showing smaller objects made by using the traditional potter's foot-operated wheel, and larger pots made without the use of a wheel, or created on a type of hand-operated device. If you visit the centre, do have a look at these carefully restored ceilings. I like to imagine how this house must have been when first built by wine merchant Dimitris Petropoulos in 1900. He must have been so proud of his fine new home. In fact, the Petropoulos family lived here until the early 1970s, when the building was expropriated by the Archaeological Council. Nowadays, the museum organizes seminars and acts as a documentation center for every aspect of traditional pottery. It also has an extensive photo and film archive that's available to students. Pottery has such a long, strong tradition within Greek culture. Even within this Keramikos area, pottery has given witness to a civilization that existed for over 3,000 years. I think it's somehow heartening to know that the Museum of Traditional Pottery is protecting and spreading that legacy into the future. <laughs>